The stage is set for group captain Subhanshu Shukla to become India's first ever astronaut aboard the International Space Station as he joins scientists from NASA and the European Space Agency for the much-awaited Axiom mission for. In its latest update, Axiom Space announced that the commercial mission is scheduled to launch from Florida no earlier than May. Now, Shukla will serve as a pilot with former NASA astronaut and director of human space flight at Axiom Space, Peggy Whitson, as commander of the commercial mission. There will be two other mission specialists, one from Poland and the other from Hungary, who are also on their maiden visit to the International Space Station. Now, while we all know that Rakesh Sharma was the first Indian astronaut to travel to space in 1984, Shukla will become the first Indian to visit the International Space Station, which became functional in the year 2000. Now, Shukla is one of the four ISRO astronauts undergoing rigorous training for Gaganyaan, India's first ever human space flight. Now, the Axiom Space will give an opportunity to gain experience in living and working in space for an extended uh, duration of time uh, ahead of India's first human space flight, Gaganyaan. Meanwhile, the remaining astronauts who have been selected for Gaganyaan will continue the intensive preparatory phase here in India. As for the plan, the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft will carry the crew to the International Space Station. And once it docks there, the astronauts will spend up to 14 days aboard the orbiting lab, a springboard for developing a low Earth orbit economy and conduct numerous experiments in space. Now, Axiom Space recently unveiled the slew of experiments and the focus of research for different space agencies in the upcoming mission. Overall, there will be 60 scientific studies and activities representing as many as 31 countries, including the US and India. The isro led research will focus on getting a better understanding of biological processes in microgravity and developing strategies for long duration space missions. Now, Group Captain Shukla will also try to investigate the physical and cognitive impact of computer screens in microgravity and understand the skeletal muscle dysfunction and explore the potential therapies. There will also be experiments designed to understand the impact of space flight on the germination and growth of six crop seed varieties as well as bacterial growth in microgravity. Now, Axiom Space, on the other hand, will focus on studying the effects of space flight on the human body, especially joints, blood flow, stem cells, cancer growth and radiation exposure and at the same time explore space-based research that can improve the health and medical treatments on Earth. It will also examine the microgravity's impact on the brain and enhance understanding of how humans adapt to space. With this, NASA also eyes more collaborative private astronaut missions in the near future. Now, just to uh, tell our viewers, Axiom Space has flown three private astronaut missions before, with the first launch in 2022 involving a 17-day st stay at the International Space Station, and the most recent in January 2024, which lasted for about 18 days. Also in the pipeline is Axiom Station, the first commercial space station, which will offer a permanent platform for research, manufacturing, and human space flight. NASA is clearly very keen to tap into the commercial missions aboard the ISS to develop low-cost access to space so that it can focus on the upcoming Artemis mission on the Moon in preparation for Mars, with the low Earth orbit as a training ground for those deep space missions. So here we are waiting for our Indian astronaut to make history aboard the International Space Station.